up y'all it's your girl lady ty and i'm back with another video and before we get into this video y'all already know i need y'all to go over and click comment subscribe to your girl channel and also hit that bell so therefore when i upload you guys will know so today i decided to discuss with you all how to study you probably like girl what who want to hear a video about that well some people don't know how to study for exams and tests and things or quizzes so this is just my take on how i study and pass my tests and maybe it can help you with the upcoming quiz exam upcoming future or now or whatever so and i feel like you can apply this to anything any subject okay so i'm a college student and so um right now i am taking um a and p biology 237 then whatever but um don't stop when i first began start taking courses i just kept going i did not take no break as far as semesters i have been i think it was i started in the winter or fall i've been going every every summer every spring i just be going for i just kept i'm just keep it going because if I stop, I feel like I'm not going to keep going because prior to me even beginning back to school, I did procrastinate. I feel I put I supposed to have been in my career before I even had my son, but it is what it is. My son was my drive to get on my stuff as far as my career. But anyway, um, so now I took the professor I previously had for one on one. I did great in his class, and he actually break it down. Like some teachers don't do that like you you gonna have professors who be like oh you read read chapters one through five or one through three before you come to class and you're gonna have an exam on it and it's like what the hell like okay i'm reading these chapters you can read and read and read these chapters and sometimes people can read stuff and boom click some people i'm one of the people i could read it a couple times but also i need to see a hands-on or also i need a visual or sometimes i need you to break it down because i might not understand this part so everybody learned different so for me with his class how i passed his class way uh, what year or two ago was by me that's why i'm giving y'all my note well how i do it is i write down um we use powerpoint so powerpoint's already be up and done so basically i'll write the power thing the power notes the powerpoints information in my notebook i'm gonna show y'all this here all of this right here all of this right here all of this all of this stuff so i will write i will write all of this i see that it's just it's crazy i will write all of the powerpoint stuff down in my notebooks and as he's talking i record him because it might be some information that i miss while he's talking as i'm writing the notes down and like I said, this is just for me, and it might help you if you're in college or even. Well, y'all know you can't do it in high school, but I will say college or those who are like maybe in a trade school. I feel this will help you. I record my professor. I write down the part, the key things in the powerpoints that he or he usually has highlighted, and then while he's talking and we're going over this, I am recording him, so I make sure I don't miss out anything that he's saying, and then when I get home. I'm not about to go, don't go back and rewrite everything in the PowerPoint because what's the point? You already went through it. What I do then is listen to my recording of him and I write down what he said or my key notes of what I feel is what my key notes of what he said. Or sometimes I write down everything that he said because nine times I tend the professor that I have, I love him. I, you know how you got like a love-hate relationship with somebody. That's just what that is. But he feels he's he knows better he knows more than the book the textbook and he will tell you that any day and give it that but anyway that's the point but i will go down i will listen to go over now these are these become your notes these become my notes after i done did what i did in class i take the recorded information and i listen to it myself and i write down will be my notes from that and that's how i study i might read a powerpoint two times once or twice again and then go into my notes that i wrote from listening to the recording and then once i do that a couple times the, and it's on you like sometimes some people three spend three hours um uh, three hours studying and when you're in college you might have to do that depending on the subject course 
with psychology i did not have to do that with humanities i did not have to do that with english i did not have to do that um with math you don't have to do that science you do science is tough like you're studying all these different organs and systems of the body and even the systems are broken down to even smaller sub parts so it's a lot of information that you're intaking and yes you might have to spend two hours or three hours studying now sometimes after i done got my um information from him i typically take a break because i don't want to over like say okay you got some information i recorded it okay you can go back into it and do your own notes or take a break then go back into it however just make sure you do it that same day so then where it's still fresh in your brain and you can remember it and then when you go back studying the next day or a few hours later you could it could be refresher in your brain then what i do do after i done study my um my recorded notes that i wrote down i will go back in other sources so what the sources will mean um is this place called cahoots i got this from my professor so y'all need to write this down cahoots is a um is is an app on your you can look on your phone or is the site is the website where you can test yourself and see like type in whatever the subject you don't type in oh biology such 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 no you'll type in like um you can type in the nervous system whatever you're discussing type it in that and loads of different stuff is going to pop up loads of different material regarding the nervous system and doctor system the skeleton system whatever it's going to pop up and you can various pick or take as many of them little quizzes as you want to when you can hit practice i think you got to sign up or log in so make you it, ain't, it don't cost nothing make you log and sign up and practice practice that practice that read and some of the stuff may not be what you actually read in your um powerpoints or your you know your studies but it's okay study though practice that go back to reading your notes read the powerpoint again if you need to also there's another other sources um other websites and things like type just type in the name whatever subject you're testing on nervous system quizzes practice quizzes do that type of stuff it's lots of other stuff that will help you remember certain key things and then for me at my particular school we have a, um what is it called mastering mastering is um where we do like it's like homework where we do basically it supposed to be like a summary of you read the chapter and you, you read these questions and answer basic type thing so that's something that also will help you with um passing quizzes and exams but the main thing that i feel helps me is when i record him when you are in college you your professor goes so fast it's so much information that you have to digest and intake that you are not going to be able to write word for word looking up at the board or looking up at the powerpoint display whatever wherever you at in the in the auditorium wherever or home online whatever you're not going to be able to write down everything that you see in that powerpoint they're not about to let you they're not about to sit there and wait you know like if you in high school and you got to write something down and the teacher wait for you to write it wait for everybody to write it down and then you know say if y'all finished or y'all done they don't do that in college it ain't it ain't like high school high school we was a little baby college is not like that that's why a lot of us adults be like who what are we thinking when we going back to school but it is what it is we in and now let's go so just make sure if you go before class write down everything in the powerpoint and then as you're going along as you follow the professor along you can write in the write what he's saying in the middle of those previous powerpoint um notes that you wrote down or like or like i said when you get home go ahead and write your own notes and present it to the um information that you got during class and you study that you know you go over the powerpoint maybe one or two more times and then after that you study your notes you study your notes a couple times how many times you feel you need it then you go into other sources search the topic online and you do practice quizzes like that to test yourself and your memory and then a day before or the day of is depending on you go back and read your notes go back and read the notes that um you, you that you personally took and more than likely you should pass so 
that is something that is very crucial with studying like i said everybody has different study habits but when you have um like intense courses or whatever i feel that's something you should do that has helped me in as far as professors every professor is different i do appreciate the fact that this particular professor breaks things down and gives you more information versus oh go read a textbook go read these chapters that's a lot one to five that's a lot like you reading one chapter tip that is a lot of information to consume and don't are a lot of pages so who's to say you are going to remember every freaking thing you read from the first chapter to the fifth chapter that you're, you're not that's impossible that's another thing if you find a professor that you feel you like their teaching style try to continue to get with that professor if possible if they teach that certain class um again you need and then sometimes you can do study groups you know if you if you are the type of person that you feel you can test yourself more in a study group go and do that get one or two people you plus one or you plus two other people no more than no more than three people because it's too much um and just you know take turns and test each other so to speak but for me personally i am like i like to focus and when i focus <coughs> excuse me i do it that way so i feel like if you guys are looking for a way to study that is the good way write the information from the powerpoint down before class take your phone or whatever recorder record your professor as you guys are going over these particular powerpoints and insert and write down the information that he's saying as you are going through the powerpoint and also when you get home go ahead and listen to the recorder again and write down your own notes from that study that do some outsource some um outreach some other resources to help you with you know understanding or gravitating to the material because sometimes you might you got to hear it a couple more times um when you before you kind of you know get an understanding of it or to get the grips of it so you know everybody learns different but it's just me for those who get information and be like what the hell am i reading what is this like it's just or you just look at it like this is so much so that's just my personal way of doing it and if you guys have other study tips or whatever it's for people to take exams quizzes, and things comment below and we can discuss them whatever but once again that's what this video is about i'm sorry it is so lengthy i'm so sorry it's so lengthy but i just feel like this is something that a lot of people might you know have a hard time with if it's possible or whatever but just wanted to share that tip with you guys and once again i thank you guys for watching click comment and share this video and subscribe until next time see ya